talking a little Jalen Collins with Bucky Brooks as we get set for the draft. Bucky, what do you like about this LSU cornerback? I mean, physically, he has all the tools and traits that you look for in a blue chip cornerback. He's long, he's rangy, he's athletic. Obviously, he's fast, and he blew up the combine and showing those athletic attributes. The big thing about Jalen Collins is when you get him on the field, this is a guy that excels in press coverage, does a great job putting his hands on people, but he's unique because he also has the ability to play from off. And when you're looking at a corner, you want a guy that can do multiple things, can employ multiple techniques. Jalen Collins can do all of those things, plus he brings ball skills to the table. Okay, so he only started 10 games in his career. So people in the NFL are excited about him, but what do they know that the LSU coaches don't? You know, that's the big mystery because you talk about, I ran down a list of things, I checked every box, he has all the tools, all the traits, ball skills, hands, you see the, the footwork and quickness, but yet he only started 10 games during his time at LSU. Some of that was due to his inconsistency, he didn't consistently cover guys the way that you expect an athlete of that caliber to do it. And so when you take him to the National Football League and you're projecting him to be a guy that's in the middle of the first round coming off the board, that is a huge risk to take because he could be a boom or bust prospect. But if you're gambling on the upside, the physical tools, he could be a guy that could end up being a multiple time pro bowler as well. How much will that affect where he goes? Like, how far do you think he could actually drop because of that? You know, I think there, that is in the conversation. I think, obviously, in meeting rooms, coaches and scouts have to figure out how much you gamble on a guy like that. But if I'm a gamble, I'm a gamble on a super athlete with long arms and all the traits <laughs> he has. So I'm okay taking him in the first round because if it works out, you're talking about an all-star that you're hitting on. Okay, who's your pro comparison for him? You know, in naming all those attributes and the con inconsistency, he reminds me of Antonio Camardi wow. when he came out of Florida State. Antonio Camardi didn't log a lot of starts during his time at Florida State, comes in the league, and really early in his career becomes a Pro Bowl player. And so with Jalen Collins, you're hoping that you hit like that. A long, rangy athlete, a guy that kind of gets better in the league as he develops. He has a lot of tools. And so because of that, I think he can put together a career very much like Antonio Cromartie has put together, really being a guy that's really made a ton of Pro Bowls, mm -hmm. even though he had to learn the game at the pro level. All right, Bucky, it'll be interesting to see how he transitions into the NFL. Of course, you can read more about all the prospects up right now at NFL.com slash college football.